So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I... uh... Bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. Wow, that is... about that clock looks familiar. I don't need to read this anymore. I lived it. Hill Valley crime at all-time low. No joke. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. A failed and misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitana. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific views are the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Remember him? Arthur McFly. Your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You and I served a subpoena to him back in 31. Preposterous. I'm almost sorry we put Kid Tannen away. We? Yeah. Come on. Don't you remember? You disarmed him and I trapped him in the rocket car. No. That's not how it happened. Oh, I never noticed this before, but Edna definitely had the hots for you, didn't she? Hots, yes. Edna was the first member of the fair sex to see something special in me. She saw something, all right, and she ran with it. Hmm. Looks to me like a kid who's all psyched about his new invention. That's where you're wrong. Although my rocket car had accidentally captured Kid Tannen, it was also a widely impractical and dangerous idea. That would have triggered unimaginable consequences had I pursued it further. Luckily, Edna came along and channeled my newfound fame into more practical pursuits. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me. 
And you? But how? Harry? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe- My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I, every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back. With proof. Wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually. Ah! Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Hang tight, Dad. I'm looking. Oh! Your head? My tape! I can't afford to let it out of my hands. It's too... explosive. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes! My tapes! What happened to my tapes?! Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. The monitor's dead. I should take this and serve a little payback. On second thought, cool your jets, Marty.
Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers when all the time it was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. Just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. <laughs> 